Hairdresser Kitties Way here. Today we're going to draw Pocoyo, so let's get started. To draw cute Pocoyo, let's first start by drawing his eyes. So I'm going to come right here and draw an oval. Start a big curve and just bring it down and connect. Then I'm going to come right across, uh, say about this one, and draw another oval. There. So I have my two ovals in. I'm just going to come to the sides right here and put in a circle for a highlight and then shade everything else in. I'll see if the highlight looks weird. If it does, I'll just shade it all in black. <laughs> but I thought it would give it some shine. So the highlight if you want right here and then shade everything in. There. So now the eyes in, I'm going to come in between the eyes and about right here, I'm just going to draw a small little curve, nice and light, right in between for the nose. And then let's draw a cute little mouth. So right underneath this nose, uh, say about right here, I'm going to go ahead and draw a curve right underneath. And then we're going to open the mouth. So we're just going to draw a big bottom of a U to connect. There, so we have a very happy Pocoyo. Then from there, we're going to have to start to frame the face. So um, let's come out. Let's come down from this eye. Let's say about right here. A little bit above the center, about right here. Just approximate. And I'm going to come out nice and wide. I'll just give myself a point. Just so I know where I'm going since I'm drawing kind of big. And about right there. From there, I'm going to go ahead and connect these two dots with a curve right over the eye. So this will be the beginning of the hat that he's wearing. And I'm just going to draw a curve right over. Then from there, I'm going to use these two points and draw his face. So nice and wide and round. I'm just going to come down and draw a bottom of a U. So I'll use this as my guide right in the center. I'm going to come down nice and low. So say about right here and give myself a point. And from there, I'm going to go ahead and draw his face. So like I said, it's nice and wide. And go ahead and connect towards the bottom. A little bit flatter towards the bottom. and connect there. So now we have his face in. Then we're going to come out a little bit more, just a little bit on both sides of his hat. And then we're going to give it a tiny little bump if you want a little bit of detail. Tiny little bump right here. If you don't want it to, you can just make it smooth. We're going to add a little bump and then from there, we're going to go up nice and high for his hat. So nice and high. So let's say about right here, I'm going to go up and this is kind of like where my center is. So about right here, I'll give myself a point so I know where I'm going. This is all because I'm drawing pretty big. So it's just a lot easier for me to give myself points. And then I'm going to come down. I'm dropping my, look at my camera. Okay. And then we're going to bring this out and down just like the other side. There. And then right in the center, I'm going to add a little bump right there. And then let's see. Oh, actually, I did go too far out. Huh? Okay, there. Let's smooth out that curve. And then from there, I'm going to just very lightly just draw a curve right here. Or you can do this when you're coloring, so it's not such a harsh black line. There. And then his uh, hat right here, we're going to add some ears. I call them ears. <laughs> Draw a big curve right here, and then you can even add a little line right here to give this curve a little bit more definition. And same thing here. So I'm just going to make sure about the same the other side and curve in there so hopefully i've captured pokoyo's look and then um 
I'm just gonna come above right here and just draw a little curve. And make his mouth a little bit bigger. Okay, there. So then from there, we can go ahead and draw his body. So nice and simple. We're just gonna come right underneath his eyes. So say about right here and right here and about here. We're gonna go ahead and just draw a soft curve coming down for his top. And just bring it down a little bit more. And say about right there. I'll stop and stop at the same level and then we're just going to go ahead and connect with a soft curve all the way across then for his feet right in the center just find your center we're going to draw a straight line down and say about that much and then we're going to come back about right here and come in so we're starting a little bit shorter and then we're going to curve it out for his shoes and Come back to this space right here, give it a little bit of angle, and then we're just gonna connect everything for a simple foot. And then you come in here, just draw a soft curve. So same thing on the other side. There's a slight angle, and then we're gonna curve. So it's curved here just like the other side, angle out and then connect. There, so we have his feet in. Then from there, let's draw his arms. So let's work on this side first. We're gonna curve out. This just nicely right to his side. Then about right there, I'll stop, come in. And then we're just going to tuck in this little thumb, indication of a thumb, and then his fingers. Make it nice and simple. And pop it out a little bit more. So it's not right at his shirt level. Okay, so then the other hand, let's have Pokoyo say hi. Um, if you're not comfortable drawing this, you can just put this on the other side as well. But if you want to do that, let's come uh, say hi. Let's come about right... Here, we're going to have Pokoyo's arm extend out. So right underneath, but right here. Just come out of an angle and about right here. We're going to cut it off with a curve. So then let's go ahead and draw his hands. So we're going to come out. Give him a little thumb and three fingers. So one, two, and a thumb. Oh, a, not a thumb, a pinky. And connect. There. Okay, and then of course we're going to give him his little zipper right here. So. We can come right here and right in the center, just draw a V and then another V. And then the tab on his zipper and goes around. And then a little opening right here. There. And I'm going to add a heart right here because it's my draw so cute Poco Yo, right? And that is pretty much it for my drawing here of Pocoyo. I really hope you love how he turned out and that I helped you draw him fun and easy today. And if I did, please make sure to give me a like and subscribe so you won't miss any new Draw So Cute videos. See you later.